So if you're promoting affiliate offer with Google ads or maybe with Microsoft ad or Bing ads, then guys, they have made a changes phrase match as well as broad match modifier as you know that if you're running a search ad or any ad with microsoft or google this keyword plays a big role this is how we show our ads to the relevant red users or audience who can buy our products in this video guys i'm going to show you what are the changes they has bought in their modified broad match as well as in the phrase match and how they are going to behave i'm going to go through this and i'm going to explain you how to use it properly and other changes which has bought by google ad as well as the microsoft ad so if you're first time here guys do subscribe my channel i'm uploading videos on every thursday related to affiliate marketing you can watch few of my videos and you can make a decision of subscribing put the bell notification and do not forget to watch this video till the end and smash that like button so guys if you're running google ads or microsoft ads as you know that keyword match types plays a big role over there right so there are almost like here you can see five uh, that keyword match type which i already explained you in one of my video in a very depth so here you can see this playlist called google ads for affiliate marketing here i created the most valuable videos like right quality score right which is very very important if you're running with google ads or bing ads right which will help you to rank get the conversion right and also you can save your account to get suspended and also guys keyword match type so you want to know more about the keyword match type then you must watch this video in very depth but meanwhile i just want to show you what changes google ads and microsoft has bought in a broad match modifier or the phrase match modifier to understand those things guys first let's understand how they are behaving till now and what changes you're going to see in this two keyword match type so here you can see this guys broad match broad match means guys let's say if you're using the keyword like diabetes and cure the google will show your ads to targeted keyword that means diabetes and cure as well as the close variant okay also here you can see the advantage and disadvantage more link clicks but there will be no relevancy okay and it will show your ad will show to a lot of other uh, right keyword which is not necessary for you okay so less sales also but another one is guys broad match modifier or modified broad match now this is the very important thing which you have to understand so when you use the modified broad match you add right plus symbol in front of the keywords okay like diabetes cure so for example if you're using this keyword like diabetes and cure plus symbol right any cure is like this like diabetes cure news diabetes cure research permanent right your ad is going to show or trigger for all of these keyword people are looking okay like if somebody is typing like diabetes cured food your ad will be shown to this okay now let's understand if there is no plus in diabetes okay and you're just adding this modifier in, in cure that means guys anybody is going to type anything related to cure your ad will trigger for that like hangover right hiv a cure for wellness all of those things okay now let's understand right if your ad plus sign if you add in diabetes right it will show your ad will be triggered for all of these keywords like diabetes symptoms right diabetes militants right all those things now what is the phrase match for example if somebody is typing like type 1 diabetes right type 1 diabetes cure your ad will trigger for them okay but your ad will not going to trigger for something if somebody is going to type like diabetes only which right which will happen if you add a modifier in the beginning of the diabetes it will not show you the ads to cure or anything like diabetes and cure before and afterwards okay it will show only when this phrase is there on that particular queries okay which people are looking so and then rest is guys exact match and then the negative keyword which is very easy to understand right you can pre uh, use that video to understand now guys new changes according to google and microsoft the modify broad match is now no longer available for you from 2021 20, july onwards now phrase match is going to use the behavior of this behavior of modify broad match so here you can see in feb 2021 google has did this announcement the behavior of broad match modifier will be no longer available and the phrase match is going to serve their behavior globally it will roll out in july okay june to july that means guys just only 15 days is left right now you must start using the phrase match also if you scroll down here you can see the example which they have given 
uh, for example like if you're using this keyword like moving services uh, New York City to Boston okay NYC to Boston as a phrase match here you can see affordable moving services New York City to Boston or NYC to Boston your ad will trigger for this also as well as guys New York City uh, corporate moving services to Boston okay this will also trigger your ads right as well as guys here you can say moving services Boston to New York City okay this have completely different meaning guys okay if you can see moving services Boston to New York City but here you're saying moving services NYC to Boston okay New York City to Boston okay but previously your ad will trigger to all these kinds of keyword also in phrase match itself but now after the update you can see it will trigger for this two keywords right two phrase queries which is relevant okay if you can see affordable moving services nyc to boston which is the exactly keywords over here nyc corporate moving services to boston which also stand a same meaning here right relevant to this okay but now after this update it will not going to trigger for moving services boston to new york city okay because this stand for completely meaning okay this is what they they have did with the phrase match okay after removing the uh, right broad match modifier the same changes you're gonna see here in the microsoft ad also okay this is microsoft ad blog and this is also right from friday 4 june phrase match will begin to incorporate behaviors of broad match modifier to simplify keywords right so this is what they are saying here this is already impacted right now from 4th june it's already rolled out right now okay and they are also planning to uh, right uh, remove the broad match keyword august 2021 you will no longer be able to create new broad match keywords and uh, for the existing broad match keyword will continue to serve under the new phrase match behavior okay so if you're already used in some campaign if it's running okay you don't need to do any action or anything okay this is really really important if you're promoting an affiliate uh, product right with uh, microsoft as well as the google ads right and google is also going to remove this thing uh, in july right in july 2021 advertiser in all long language will no longer be able to create broad match keyword that means guys start using the phrase match keyword and uh, this is one of the big thing which will impact your campaign also in some other changes with google ads guys here you can see you're gonna see responsive search ad uh, as a default uh, when you try to create a ads right under this campaign okay any campaign right responsive ad will be available here not the text ad but they have not removed the text ad to get that text ad you have to go down here look at this switch back to text ad you can still create the text ad but this responsive ad is now default okay and according to them it will serve you better than text ad but right according to me right i still use the text ad because here you have freedom to create more different kinds of things that depend upon your expertise if you're a beginner then definitely you can go and use the responsive ad you can give uh, some good headlines and google test all those things and then it will show the right uh, the headline and description to the audience okay which is relevant another very important changes with microsoft ad is guys they change the manual cpc with the enhanced cpc okay and uh, here if you go in the campaign setting label right here you can see uh, you will have this enhanced cpc right and maximize clicks so you can use uh, both of this right or because you're not going to get the manual cpc where you are right adjusting all the right uh, bidding here but you can use the enhanced cpc here and then uh, instead of manual cpc and you can edit all the keywords okay and their biddings if the keyword is not performing uh, you can uh, change the bidding all those things you can do right so instead of right the manual cpc you can use the nn cpc so guys these are the few small and the big changes right with the google which will really going to impact with your affiliate marketing campaign if you're promoting those with microsoft ad or google ads make sure you're optimizing right and i will highly recommend you you must watch this few of the videos like quality score videos uh, and keyword match type videos and if you have some trouble with right uh, google ad account suspension you must watch my this video which will help you to know the six egregious policies okay which will guide you and if you keep those things in mind right you're far away uh, from the suspension of your account and you'll get more and more conversion so hope you like this video smash the like button meet you in the next video with some new concept thank you